such an elaborate scheme. That's the whole point. Elaine Amos owns a beauty shop in Monongahela. So when West Penn Power showed up on her caller ID Wednesday and a man claimed she owed $1,200, keeping the lights on was priority. And I said, there's no way because, you know, I, I have never had a bill for that amount of money. And I said, um, I don't think so. And he said, well, that's what our records are showing. And right now there's a shutoff in progress. Amos said the man on the other line told her to go to Dollar General and get a prepaid card, then call back to pay the bill. This was the number he told her to call. Thank you for calling West Penn Power, a first energy company. Amos realized it was a different 1 800 number than what was on her bill, and she called police. The caller ID, the, the, the recording, everything sounded legit until they asked for a prepaid card. At that point, it's a scam. And once you call in and read the number off the prepaid card, you're scammed. The money's gone. A manager at the Dollar General noticed a line of small business owners waiting to buy prepaid cards, unknowingly, all for the same scam. The manager pulled them and called police, but at least one person had already bought one for $900. If people could use their brains for to do good things in the world <laughs> rather than, you know, cheat people out of stuff. This world would be such a better place. Police remind everybody to not provide personal information over the phone so you don't fall for these scams. If you ever receive a call from a biller or a utility company, police say you can ask to call them back and call the number that's on your statement. In Monongahela, Washington County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh, Action News 4.